Hello, hello everyone. This is Divine Empress 71. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, happy Thursday to you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. So, what I have on the board here is I have a page of pentacles um, in reverse. And I also have king of swords in reverse. So, we have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Gemini, Libra, Libra and Aquarius um, as a, uh, overall. And then we have uh, You Belong To. Excuse me, y'all. You know, it, it was sometimes when I get ready to do a reading, that's when the phone rings. But anyway, I have You Belong To Me. I really don't give a F about them. And then we have STD, itching, burning, herpes, uh, foul odor, somebody's taking medication. So, uh, whoever this person is or was collective, yeah, was. I cause I'm, I'm picking up that you let this person alone. This person could have been somebody who slept around and, uh, and they caught, and they caught a, uh, a, a um, STD. But yet and still though, they still hanging on to you though. This is somebody who, uh, this this is somebody who don't, they don't appreciate nothing. They don't, they didn't, they didn't value you, or appreciated you. And and this may be somebody who possibly could not value, um, like they don't value money. You know, they may be a little wasteful with it. Uh. This could be somebody who may even go from job to job. Uh, you know, they don't settle in no job uh, long. Uh, they, they they could not be stable, you know, cause, and they always having money problems. You know, this is somebody, and this is somebody who's, you know, this that kind of person that will borrow or always borrow money, always need money from you but you can't never get none out of them you know what the what they can get from you or others you can't get it back out of this person this person got some very selfish ways and devious very devious sneaky uh and they like to you know um um they like to do things to spite people you know just to hurt them uh Hmm. They may have trust issues as well and somewhat overly cautious about things. Uh, hmm. Real quick to think the worst of people when they themselves are the worst. <laughs> you know, hmm. You, uh, you may see this person as somebody who's maybe you know, ignorant, they had, they, um, they lack maturity, that's, I mean, they do, they lack maturity, you may look at this person as stupid, <laughs> you know, for some of you, mm -mm -mm. yeah, they've been, um, you may have let this person go because of their sleeping around, and then they got these other ways about them. Like I said, they all for themselves. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. This this person may be for some of y'all. This person could be a um, what what they call them, homosexual. This person could be one of them too. You know, um, they don't. Uh, uh, and you know, rather than getting a place of their own. They would rather just go in and, you know, and sleep, sleep at your house, sleep on your couch, or maybe even, you know, uh, get involved with, with you romantically so they can move in, you know, in your place, you know, and live on you and mooch off of you. Mm-hmm. And still don't appreciate it because they, because they, they ruthless, they, 
Got some hard-hearted ways. Selfish. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But you may see this person as a as a as a HOE. You may see this person as just no good. Just no good. Mm. Let's see, let's get some more. Uh these are the uh I'm I'm using the uh, get your shit together um by Mystic Beauty, y'all. I love these cards. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else comes out here. So we got a pretty good idea of who the signs are. Now all of them, these signs may not resonate with all of you. Um so Voodoo, good luck charm that protects the uh, the wearer, the person that wears it from evil. Okay. What is it, a gris gris? Okay. So this is like a little uh, spirit is saying uh, you if you get this uh, charm, you just wear it around your neck and, it's protect, and it will protect you from people like this. Mm. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yeah, researching somebody this person could be could be looking you up um collective it could be trying to find some things out about you um so that tells me that they watching for some of you this person may be watching you hmm then we got fed up so you, you must have got tired of this person. Yeah, you must have got tired of this person and let this person alone. And I can understand why. I can see why. Hmm. They were nothing but a burden, a waste of time. Yeah. Yeah. And see, because this person, uh, for some of you, this, this person uh, has a, a tendency to be overly cautious. It, it may have caused them some sort of anxiety. Um, and uh, and they may have a, a smoking habit, a heavy smoking habit because of it. Um, and when she says on this card, anxiety kills, well, actually it can because it leads to other problems. You know, some people deal with their uh, anxiety and their depression uh, uh, through, um, you know, uh, drinking, smoking, you know, things of that nature, you know, because uh, they don't know no other kind of way, you know, to cope with that. Yeah. Um, and then we have putting on a show. So you were dealing with somebody who was fake also. Yeah. You were dealing with somebody who was fake. Uh, um they probably wore a mask as well. Um, so, and this, and you could have been dealing with somebody who loves attention. They were uh, an attention seeker. Uh, somebody that likes, you know, all eyes on them type of person. Yeah. Let's see. And they may be struggling. Uh huh. They struggling. Uh, this is somebody who may be, you, you know, uh, may be robbing Peter to pay Paul. But at the same time, as I said, you know, this person is a user. This person is a user. And, and, uh, and they, they always have money problems. Because they don't, because they don't value money. They don't manage it well. Um, they just go through money, uh, you know, like drinking water. But then, but. And then, but they'll also come back to you or a particular people or person to bail them out, to give them money, you know, to help them out. Handouts. Handouts. You know, you know, uh, they don't, they don't do right with, with what they have. So here they come. They come into you for you to help them out and bail them out. But yet and still, though, they can't never come through for you like you do them. 
And then they don't appreciate nothing uh, that you, you know, will do or have done for them. Yeah. Hmm. What else, Ben? Obsessed. So, th so this person has some, uh, they, they could be obsessed with you, uh, collective. Um, I'm also hearing, hearing, uh, possessive as well as obsessive. Um, that's why they watching you. Yeah. Yeah. You moved on from this person. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's why they that's why they watching too. Cause you have cause you have moved on. Then we got I miss you here. Hmm. This person could be uh could be on the down low for some. Hmm. And then we got acceptance. Hmm. So hmm. You may have ac accepted the fact that uh, that, uh, you know, you had to, you had to put this person behind you and no longer deal with this person. Um, you may have told this person to get their shit together before they can even think about coming, trying to come back towards you. You don't care whether they miss you or not. They, you know, they are just not right. And so you just got fed up with that mess. And, uh, you know, and just sent them on down the road. So, yeah. And you may have found out that this person was down low. This was something that, they, for, you know, for some of them, this is something that they hide. Yeah, this is something that they hide. Or they try to. Yeah. Yeah, you could have been dealing with a runner as well, somebody who uh, runs from from connections. They ghost, um, and then again, you could have you you could be running from this person yourself, collective dodging this person, mm -hmm. because you don't want to have nothing to do with them. Mm hmm. Yeah, I I am a narcissist and. You're my greatest supply. Wow. Mm. Well, we're looking at some of the ways this person got. Mm. They do have some some uh some toxic ways. They sure do. They do have some toxic ways. And this is a this is a fake person too. They phony. Hmm. Yeah. And like I said. And you were their greatest supply because you was furnishing them for some of you. You was furnishing this person uh, money, a place to stay. You know, uh, because they because they couldn't they couldn't half ass hold on to no job. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know, cause they were from job to job. You know, job to job. They didn't value a job. They didn't value money. And you know, and what little money that they did make, you know, they would blow it. You know, they would blow it. And then they, then, uh, you know, this is somebody who could have a job, but they don't have nothing to show for it. And because they, uh, because they uh, couch hopping, they hopping from sofa to sofa, you know, um, trying to, you know, um, trying to stay wherever they can lay their heads at, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Then they want to blame you, though. They want to blame you. Um, and see, this person could have told, they could have went back and said that you was the one that gave them the STD. Collected. When it was really the other way around. Uh, you know, when it, when it was the other way around. They gave it to you. Hmm. Then they could have, uh, you know, uh, gossiped and said that it was you you was the one that uh broke up the connection 
when it was really them. Sorry, I don't give you closure. I mean, I didn't give you closure. Hmm. This person wasn't. <laughs> this person wasn't uh, gonna give closure anyway. And even if they did, it uh, it wouldn't be genuine. Cause uh, this this is somebody who would say whatever they gotta say to get what they want. Mm. Yeah, for some of them, they may have got their car damaged. Like somebody could have, uh, you know, took a knife and scraped their car, or maybe uh, put their tires on flat. You know, because they been they out here playing games, and uh, they could have gave and uh. It could have possibly been the person um, that they may have gave the STD to or whoever they might have had in a third-party situation, you know, uh, could have done that, you know, done that to them. Mm -hmm. Could have uh, vandalized their car. Hmm. Wasting time, yeah. That's what uh, that's what you kind of saw with this person. This person was a time waster. Uh, they just you realize that they they just wasn't worth the effort. Mm-hmm. And we got ghosted. Yeah. So like I said, you probably had to go ahead on and ghost this situation because this person was on demon time. Told you they, you know, they they had devilish ways. They did. They they were just too toxic, you know. And then on top of that, they was uh they was doing too much, yeah. And then we have unforgiven. Uh, this person may feel like for some of them, they may feel like you may not never forgive them because of what they've done. Um. Or then again, they may may not forgive you, you know, for um for letting them go. Yep. See, we got revenge here too. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. They they could they could have thought about plotting some sort of revenge on you, because they really in their feelings, regret, you know, thinking of what could have been. Mm-hmm. Yep, they reflecting. Hmm. Yep. And see, they are experiencing some karma too because what because what because what goes around comes around. What we do to others come back to us. And that's true. That is true. Mm-hmm. Addicted to toxicity. Yep. Yeah, this is a yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, this is a toxic person. Mm. All the only thing they can do now is just sit in their feelings and regret and think about what they've done, what they've lost. Mm. And see some of y'all are deeply spiritual. You have a, a a close connection with God, and you're blessed financially right now. You're doing well. You're doing well. Mm hmm And this person, because of your because of your kind, good-hearted nature, and the fact that you were blessed um, abundantly, that could have been for some of you. That could have been what may have kept this person coming back, trying to hold on, you know, but you saw over time that they were holding on for the wrong reason uh, because you you were supply. You was giving them what they wanted until you decided to cut it off. Mm -hmm. Because I, I see that uh, if some of you um, if this applies to you and you a female who's doing well financially, you could have been dealing with a male who operated in page energy. 
They, you know, they were immature. They was not good with money. They were not good with managing money. And if they moved in with you, uh, you probably was the one that paid the biggest of the bills because you probably made the most money. Uh, you might have been doing better financially than than this person. See, uh, and and it could go vice versa. It could be male and on female as well, or same sex or whatever. But you just take the roles and flip it. But yeah, uh, yeah, this person um, was reaping the benefits of your blessings mm -hmm. and your giving good nature as well. Mm. You had um, you had more to offer them than they did you. I just put it like that. Yeah, you were dealing with somebody who was full of pride. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I told you and they were going back line. Mm-hmm. They were going back line. And I told you this person is a user. Mm-hmm. They ain't they ain't nothing but a user. Uh they uh they prey on people who they think that they can use. Mm-hmm. Who they can manipulate and lie to. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, shitty offer, wrong choice. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, I wonder then, um, they may have traded you in for, uh, you know, Chuck E. Cheese. They may have traded you in. Uh, you, you know, you are a T-bone steak with all the sides go with it. But they, but they could have chose wrong. They could have chose some bullshit, you know, uh, uh, Chuck E. Cheese or some McDonald's over you. Mm-hmm. Mm. See, they, they, they more than likely got with somebody that they thought was gonna be doing the same thing you did. Mm-mm. That that wasn't what it was. Uh. What you was doing, helping them out financially, and they could run to you when, you know, they didn't have no money. You know, they couldn't do that with the next person. They couldn't do that. Mm-mm. Yeah. Obviously, that didn't work out neither. <laughs> that didn't work out neither. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. They might be uh, looking at some pictures, uh, if they got any pictures of you. Uh, uh, you know, they look at them. There could be somebody that holds on to the past, too, for some of them. Um, they don't seem to let that go. Um, and they, you know, and they may not never, you know, they may not, uh, you know, never, you know, completely let you go. Yeah. The devil. Yeah, I told you. <sighs> you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, an earth sign. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, and they don't like the fact that you are unbothered. Mm -hmm. And that you are spiritually connected as well. Yeah, like I said, you know, not only are you spiritual, but you are uh, closely connected to God as well. Yeah. Hmm. And then we got forgiveness. Hmm. So, yeah, so like I said, you know, they they want, they may want you to forgive them. Um, maybe some of you probably have, but you just moved on. You know, you just don't, you know, um, you just moved on from this person because, like I said, you saw that it was just worth, it just wasn't worth the effort. It just wasn't worth, you know, to keep investing in. So, so you moved on. Uh, but some of you may have. Some of you may have uh, forgiven this person. You may have. And maybe they might need to forgive you, you know. So. Yeah. And your crown is still intact. So that tells me right there, you know, you healed. 
You healed. Mm-hmm. Healing. Sent from above. Mm-mm. Yeah. Yeah, you did let this person go. Cause it's a towel. Mm-hmm. Because you saw them as not only devil energy, but trash. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you may have seen this person uh as a uh, um a bum. Mm-hmm. Some of them may may have had a sex addiction, a sex addiction. You know, they may have, you know, they might be, you know, uh, a nympho, uh, but they, you know, uh, they may buy sex. They like rough, anal, or whatever. You know, they might be into all kinds of kinky stuff. But they are planning to come back, and when they do, they say that they're not going to let you get away again, collector. And they're going to make it up to you. But see, you were dealing with a player, a user, a narcissistic, broke ass. Somebody that can't keep no money. Hmm. Yeah, that's how they got that STD with all these multiple partners. Because you were dealing with an opportunist. That's why I said they. this could be somebody they like to go for, go for people that's stable financially. You know, somebody that's got their own place, got their own home, uh, a decent job, you know, uh, they got their own car, you know, and stuff like that, you know. And this could be somebody that not only do they not keep a place or a job, they don't, they may not keep a car either. For some, hmm. And then, they are jealous of you as well. Uh, and with this jealousy card being here. There could be several people that may be jealous of you. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't love them. I just act like I do. They don't love me. They're just using me. I know it's my karma. Yeah. Because, like I said, they uh, probably, they more than likely ended up with somebody for the wrong reason. Or they got with them for the wrong reason. And now, things have reversed. You know, what they did to you was has was done to them. Mm-hmm. Yep. They may not have chose to do right by you, but whoever they chose over you, they, they tried to do right by them and got screwed. Mm-hmm. Now uh they realize and through all of that that they are not over you. Now they want to come back chasing. Mm -hmm. Because they see that you ain't going to chase them. So they want to come back and chase you. Mm. But here, but here is that user. That user vibe. I want you to share your blessings with me. Even though I didn't help you manifest it. Yeah. But see some of y'all said access denied. Hell no. Blocked. You ain't getting nothing. And if you. And if. And if you come back. Um, to collective, uh, trying to get back in collective's energy for the wrong reason, you're going to experience some more of God's wrath. Uh-huh. Because what they don't know, uh, if they if they don't know, they will. Some of y'all are high priestess. Pisces energy. You may be a Pisces. Yeah, some of y'all are, uh, not only are you, know, you deeply spiritual, but you highly intuitive too. Mm-hmm. But you don't want this person dirty, dirty, uh, dirty D. You know, you don't want it. You don't want it because it's got too many damn diseases. You don't want that. <laughs> yeah, you don't want that. I told you, they are angry because you don't want their dirty ass. Mm-mm. No. And the person that they chose over you, uh, not only are they getting used, but they're getting disrespected too. Cause she, you know what I'm saying? Cause she could be beating the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. Yep. But see, now, while they over there going through it, they can't do nothing but stalk and watch. And they are hunted by their decisions. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. And, and, and last but not least... They they wrote a check that their ass couldn't cash. Yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. 
and back to this uh that uh pay that uh king of swords uh in reverse that right there clarified it you sneaky uh sneaky envious dirty you know just, mm -hmm. person mm-hmm and this right here could be family friends uh it doesn't necessarily have to be a lover uh with this card it could be anybody somebody that's close to you that you know mm -hmm. let's see here i'm gonna get ready to close this out let's see we'll get a message from spirit and then we'll close up shop on this video all right Do one more. All right, Spirit, the message for the collective for Thursday. Give us a message, Spirit, from the fourth collective. All right. Have you have okay? Have more faith in yourself. Be proud of how you are navigating every curveball that life throws at you how you deal with those times shows your true inner resilience nothing can break that that in itself is an inspiration for others keep shining your light yeah okay so uh uh you know be proud of um you know of where you are you know where you you know uh be proud of of um the things that you had to overcome, you know, uh, maybe, you know, leaving this situation behind and just and just cutting people off, period, cutting off people, places and things that no longer serve you, you know, just be proud of yourself um, that, you know, for every curveball, you was able to get around it. Mm hmm. Yep. So that shows how strong you were you know especially as you know especially spiritually that you were strong you was able to you know to come out come out and come up from this situation as well as and there'll be other situations that you may have to do the same thing you know you may have to do the same thing but it's just but it's all about how you love yourself how you know uh having faith in yourself and believing in yourself knowing your worth and your value and you showed that by cutting this person off. You did. So that's all I have um, for this reading collective. Um, I pray that it was a blessing to you guys. Um, and I, I thank you guys for the comments. Uh, also, um, also thank you for the super chats as well. I appreciate that as also. So um, if this resonates you know, with you, just give me a comment. And I love to read it. So I will um, talk with you guys soon. All right. Bye-bye.